Petitions on Action Network express why your issue is important and let you voice your support or opposition to a particular target. You'll use petitions to collect lots of signatures, then deliver those signatures to the target by email or in person. Just as a note, this is different than our letter campaigns tool, which lets your activists send messages to the targets one by one. If you want the target to receive an email one by one, check out the letter campaigns video tutorial. So to create a petition, click on the Start Organizing menu and select Petition. First, you'll put in the title of your petition. Today, we'll make a petition called Give Action Network Staff Ice Cream. Then, you'll put in your target. We'll target the Action Network Executive Director, Brian Young. For petitions, it works best to have a pretty specific target. So choose the chairman of a relevant committee rather than the entire legislative body, or a company CEO rather than the entire company. Next, you can add a banner image if you'd like. We'll provide guidance on the best image size to use. Next, we're going to provide a, a information to our potential activists about why this petition is important, what's going on with the issue, and how this petition will help achieve the change we're looking for. So we'll type that in here. For your description section, you can format the text using this toolbar. You can write it in HTML, format headings, align your text left, center, right, or justify, bold, italicize, or strike through your text, create bulleted or numbered lists, add an image, video, table, add links or hyperlinks, and enter a horizontal line. Use these formatting options to customize the appearance of your page. Next, you'll choose whose name this petition is being published under. If you want it to appear under your name, keep this box right here. In most cases, though, you'll want that to be your group or organization name, so select your group under the Sponsored by drop-down menu, and then click Remove Creator. Now, we'll put in our actual petition text. This section is what's going to be delivered to your target, so this should include the ask what you're trying to do, and get what you're trying to get the target to do. Now let's go back up to the top right. Over here, you'll see this goal slider. Our goal slider will start at 25 signatures and then increase as you reach and surpass your goals. This way, you're always showing momentum. The goal slider is removable if you prefer not to have it. Under the goal slider is the form that people will fill out when they sign your petition. By default, we'll ask for first name, last name, email address, and zip code. But you can change what's required and what's not. On petitions, we also add a comment box here if your activist wants to say more about the issue. You can also ask for other information, like a checkbox, if for people who are interested in volunteering, or a text field to collect phone numbers. Click this blue button to use our form builder, or the green button to create your own questions with HTML. For more information on, editing, on adding or editing additional form questions, check out our questions video and our common action concepts video tutorial. If you need to save your work and come back to it later, or want someone else to take a look at your petition before you publish it, use this green Save and Preview button or send this private preview link. If you don't want to preview your petition just yet, click the blue button to save and go to the next step. Here, we'll set up our thank you page. This gives activists additional instructions and lets them share the petition on social media, email it to a friend, or embed it on their website. If you want to remove this function, simply remove the sidebar. You now have the option to preview your petition again, save it as a draft, or click the red button to save and publish. Let's go ahead and save and publish our petition. This will make it live. This brings us to our Action Manage page. From here, you can view the petition, edit the petition, 
edit any tags associated with the activists who take action on this petition or unpublish the petition. Let's go ahead and see what the live petition looks like by clicking View Petition. As you can see, the petition looks exactly like the one we just created. All the headings and sidebars are in the same place, and all the formatting is the same. Let's go back to our Action Manage page. Looking at this sidebar, you can see that there's a ton of options for customizing what happens after people sign your petition. To learn more about how to customize the email people get after signing the petition, how to embed the petition on your own website, and what statistics we track for you, watch our Common Action Concepts video. Things like embedding the action, customizing the thank you email, are consistent across all Action Network tools. But one thing that is different for petitions is the Delivery Options tab. The Delivery Options tab is where you'll go when you're ready to deliver the petition. You have a couple of options, email delivery and physical delivery. For email delivery, just put in the email of your target and we'll deliver the signatures when you're ready. The target will get an email saying, X number of people have signed a petition telling you to give Action Network staff ice cream, or whatever your title is. The email will also contain the text of the petition and an attached PDF of all the signatures and comments of your activists. If you choose a physical delivery, you can choose between a PDF or a CSV. The CSV is a spreadsheet that you can format in any way that you'd like. And that's how you create and deliver a petition on Action Network. If you have any questions about petitions or any of our other features, please watch our other video tutorials and get in touch with us at help.actionnetwork.org.